Hey there guys, my name is Marcus and in this video I'm going to show you step by step process how we can use Agile CRM. So let's start. When you would enter Agile, you would be in here in home. Now you get to see contacts here, revenue, deals, calls, tasks, then you would see calendar, tasks and your activities. You can simply change your dashboard by going to top right and click here add a dashlet, like contact list, deals, deal goals, revenue graph. I can simply click here and add it. Then again, you can add RSS feed, activities, and really optimize your dashboard as much as you want. When you come here to the top right, you can see recent activities, and you can simply add, this is like the quick way how you can add contact, company, deal, even task, note, email, ticket, call, and document. I will show you everything how you can do it. Then on the top left, you would see calendar where you're going to see uh, what needs to be done, then tasks, like overdue today, tomorrow, later. And that's pretty much it. And then you have like search button that you can search for everything. When I click here on the menu, I can simply click on contacts and you can import the contacts or you can simply click on the top right, add a con contact. You can also add a tax add a campaign or on the right side you can see filters so you can actually filter everything let's go to the top right and add a contact now i will add a name marcus stonelius title company we'll add a new one okay email phone and you can also add tags right then click save and voila, here we got it. So here we got our first contact. On the left side, you're going to see details. Then you can simply add a note. Note. Note to, relate to, click save. Right then, you can simply click on events. You can have no in for Marcus. I can simply add an event or I can add the tasks. So task name, fill approval. And you can have it as a call, email, follow-up, meeting, milestone, send, tweet, or other. Owner, priority if it's a high, normal, low, and status, yet to start, or in progress. And I'm going to go to like 50%, right? Relate to myself and related deals. If you have some deals related, you can add them here. Let's click save. Right then, you're going to see deals here. And I can add... Mark is not associated with any deals and I can simply add a deal here. So deal name can be deal lifetime owner. Value can be 10,000. You can add also products here. Profitability 30%. You can add milestone if it's a new prospect proposal one lost. I'm going with a prospect. Close date, let's go 28th of February. Deal source can be website referral ads. Type is a color, relate to, and again tags. Now I just click save. And then you have campaigns here. You can add a new campaign. Uh, then you have app stats. And then you have like mail here that you can set up. And you can easily set up and connect your Gmail account and then send mails to Marcus Tanelius or to your client. And you can simply add the documents here too. And then you have tickets. Tickets are from service uh, that needs to be solved. From the, Those are like questions from a client, right? When I'm going to click on a companies, one total, I can go to stop right and click add a new company. And I can go URL, I would add it. I can go continue editing and I can go URL, tag, add email, phone, website, and city, state, address, and country. And voila, this is a really similar way how we can do it with a contact that, okay, I got a company. I can add contacts directly to the existing company that I just created. So my recommendation would be just create an organization first and then create contacts. Then you're going to see deals here. So right now, as we create our deal, I can see right here that this is a deal of a lifetime. I can simply archive it, I can delete it, or I can move it between new prospect proposal or one. So I can simply click here on proposal. 
and then again i can add notes to it documents related tasks events or products then i get to see documents here inbox these are like my emails i can compose i can add an email from email address this one or my own I would verify the email. I would need to configure, configure my domain keys and I can simply send emails from my agile CRM. Then I get to see online calendar here. I can simply scheduling URL. These are like my online appointments that I can have. So business hours when I work, meeting types, Type say hi, let's keep it short, let's chat. 15, 30. And advanced buffer time. This is like not really to take surprise appointments. Buffer time is the minimum notice time you need to for your next appointment. And calendar uh, where you would see everything, right? So let's say 30 minute. And then I just choose a date. And name, email, phone number. And this is a really great way, let's say that you want to set up um, like when you are available and you can have this is like really huge thing not a lot of people not a lot of companies crm got online calendar implemented in their software so this is a huge thing that you can use then you're going to see activities here you would see uh, all your activities what was happening the next thing are reports and reports you can have automation stat deals like incoming deals I can see that this is my incoming deal that I'm going to get, maybe. Deal lost, revenue by source, user reports, rep performance, comparison reports. And you can really choose like what kind of report you want to see and find out. Average call duration, call logs, call outcomes. And then the last thing are automations. And in automations, uh, you can simply contact added. So when is going to be contact added what is going to happen right when it's going to contact added i can send email from marcus stone to blah 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 text html cc bcc subject reply to click save then you can wait clicked open text score url with the tweet a b testing or you can go also add a task so when there is a new contact you can add a task call the contact category call normal priority click save due days one so now i'm going to choose it like this so when there is going to be a new contact I'm going to add a task and then I can add content edition or I can add a deal. You can really like automate it as much as you want. So this is pretty much it, how we can use the agile CRM. You can also switch between sales, marketing and service if you want to. But yeah, this was like simple walk for what you can actually do and how we can use it. I know that it wasn't really complex, but I didn't want to make it complex. I want to make it simpler. What you can actually do here to have the basic knowledge about the agile crm thank you very much guys for watching have a great day and goodbye see ya